Hello everyone, welcome back to Code Dias. In this particular video, I'm going to discuss multi-level inheritance. So in a previous video, we completed single inheritance with multiple examples. Better to watch that particular video, come back, then watch multi-level inheritance. And just uh, in this particular video, I'm going to discuss just one or two examples and how this multi-level inheritance is different from single inheritance. This is the continuation video of single inheritance. Better to watch that particular video. That's it. So multi-level inheritance uh, means a multiple level, right? You know, level, right? So this is level zero, level one, level two, like this, right? So multi-level means you will going to deal with uh, multiple classes. Okay. So observe very carefully. First theoretical point, then we will discuss programmatically. Fine. So in multi-level inheritance, we will going to deal at least with the three classes. Minimum we require how many classes? Three classes. But in the case of a single inheritance, two classes is more than sufficient. So here minimum we require three classes. Fine, sir. So if you observe very carefully, here a class is derived from a class which is already derived from another class. Read two, three times. Here a class is derived from a class which is already derived from another class. Sir, so what it means? What it mean means is try to understand one example. So, parent, child, grandchild. Getting or not? Parent, child, grandchild. So, this is the example, perfect example of a multi-level inheritance. Clear or not? So, observe. Example this is a class C and the class C is derived from class B and the class B is derived from class A. Beautiful example. Simple, common, like a generic example, I can say. Clear? So that means what? Uh, suppose class A is having 10 method. 10 method as well as 5 variable. Class A is having 10 method and 5 variables. Okay. That means attributes. So by default, this class B can access all the things which is available inside class A as well as its own. So what about C class? C class can access all the things which is available inside a B class as well as a A class as well as own. Clear or not? See, observe here I'm discussing uh, with an example. Yeah, so class A is having 10 method and 5 attributes, fine. So that means class B can access and class B is having 20 methods and 10 attributes, okay. This is own plus Class B can access the property of parent. Yes or no? That means sir, 10 methods and a 5 attributes. So I can say totally class B contain what? 30 methods and a 15 attributes. Okay. So that means sir, what about class C? Suppose class C is having own 30 method and a 15 attribute and class c can access the members of class a and class b so class b class b is having 20 method 10 attribute class a is having 10 method 5 attribute so that means 20 plus 10 30 methods and a, something like a 15 attributes so totally 60 methods and uh, 30 attributes. I hope you are getting the clarity. If you are getting this uh, uh, example, that means a multi-level inheritance complete. That's it. You can start implementations. Without waiting, just stop this video from here. And there is no more new things I am going to discuss. Why? Because everything I cover in single inheritance. So I'll just implement these things. Just stop this video. And you can start implementation of this particular one. 
Okay, that's it. We'll move towards practical. Oh, not thank you. I'll move towards practical. So I created files and all these things. Sir. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to write a class A. And class A is having what? A few methods. So first of all, I'm going to create a normal. I'm going to create one method. Okay. So class B A is having one method. I'm going to write a method one. Method one. Self. Parent class. Okay. Print parent class method. Parent class method one. That's it. So if I want, I can create one more method. What will be the problem if I'm going to create one more method? No problem, na? right? So method two. Parent class method two. Okay. So I'll create one more class. That class is a class B and class B is the child of class A. So DEF method three, self, don't create with again method one name, okay? That will be a problem I'll discuss in future. So I'll write a child class, child class method number three so i'll write a def method four self print child class method number four that's it similarly i'm going to create one more class called as c which is a child of a B. So I'll do what I'll going to copy these two. I'll paste it here. And I'll write method five, method six. And instead of child, I'll going to write a grandchild. Yeah. Method number five, and it is method number six. So now tell me, this is the example of a multi-level inheritance or not? Yes, sir. This is the example of a multi-level inheritance. Sir, now what are you going to do? So tell me, class A is having how many methods? Two methods. Class B is having how many methods? Two methods of its own as well as a parent is having two methods. So that means indirectly class B is having four methods. What about class C? Class C is having own two method as well as a B class and A class method. So that means totally class 4 can access six method. Sorry, class C. Class C can access six method. Class B can access four method. Class A can access two method. So start the object creation of a C class. C is equal to C constructor. So C dot with the help of this uh, C reference variable, can I access method 5? Everything we can access. We can access method 1. Possible? Yes, possible. So, method 1, possible. Method 2, possible. Method 3, possible. Method 4, possible. Method 5, possible. Method 6, possible. We are getting everything as output. Okay? So, if I am going to create the object of... Uh, uh, like uh, um, B class, B is equal to B constructor. So I can access method one possible. Yes, we can access method one. So we can access method one. We can access method two possible, possible. We can access method three, four. We can access yes or no. Yes, sir. Method three, we can access method four. We can access, but we cannot access method five and six, sir. If I'll write method 5, it will going to give me the error. Array B class, you cannot access method 5. So that's why we are getting error basically, right? It's clear cut information from my side. So I hope you are getting clarity and I hope you people know these things basically. Why? Because it's a very fundamental and simple concept. 
So um, similarly, you can create the variables also. If you are interested, you can create the variables self dot a or self dot x is equal to 100 or something like you can create the variable and you can access those variables also. I'm not going to make a video like a, a long. Why? Because it is not required. Uh, those who know already single inheritance with multiple examples, those who already watched that particular video, it's very common for them, right? So your duty is what? Uh, you can extend uh, D class, E class, you can do like this. And uh, you can create the uh, variables, okay? You can change its value and all these things, okay? Just try to uh, convert that single inheritance video uh, to convert in the sense what? Try to do the similar type of example, okay? And that's it. And thank you so much for watching this particular video. We'll meet in the next video for continuous and part. Thank you so much.